Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about design methodology as a part of our robotics construction level 2 course. Our learning objectives from this video are understand the design methodology and apply that methodology to design a robotic crane. So let's understand what is our design methodology. We have four stages of design methodology. The first stage is requirements, where we will clearly define what we want to achieve. At every future step, we must check whether that step helps to achieve at least one requirement. If not, then that step is not necessary. The next step after requirements is visual representation. So we will draw a rough sketch of a robot. Will indicate the desired movements and we will also cross check with requirements whether we are satisfying the requirements which we have jotted down in our first stage. The next stage is going to be componentization where we are actually going to talk about which components we use. Are those components available? If not, then do we have any alternatives? If we are using alternatives, we need to go back to our visual representation and we need to correct it and finally we will go to assembly stage where we are going to assemble our robot it's a simple process only need to understand that this is an iterative process so every new step we must go back and check if it does not conflict with our earlier step now we have understood the design methodology we will apply that methodology to design a robotic crane our first step as we know is requirements our crane must have a strong base that is our requirement one it should have a mast which is able to rotate 360 degrees in horizontal plane we should have an assembly which can take the load up and down and that should be able to rotate at least 90 degrees and finally both the rotations that is the rotation of the mast as well as the assembly which takes the load up and down both of these rotations should be smooth so these are our requirements of the crane now we'll go to the next stage which is visual representation we're going to draw a rough sketch of our robot our first requirement was must have strong base just like this we want to have a strong base stable both sides equally heighted and strong enough to take the load of the remaining robot then we should have a mast which is able to rotate 360 degree in horizontal plane so we have shown the rotation so this is a horizontal plane rotation then we should have an assembly which takes the load up and down and that should be able to rotate 90 degrees up down so this is our rough sketch of the crane. We have still not taken care of one requirement at this stage. We will ensure that we take care of that requirement before we come to our final design. The next step of the design is componentization. Now we will decide which components we use to satisfy each of these requirements. For the strong base, we will create a base using a rectangular plate and four C plates. C plates are generally used for the base because they are stable and they are also strong. We are we want a little height and hence we are joining two C plates together. Now we'll come back to the fourth requirement. Both rotations should be smooth and for that we are going to use two gears. If you see we have used a small gear and the big gear the small gear is connected to the motor shaft and to the big gear we have connected the mast and that means our mast is going to rotate slow so it will be a smooth and slow rotation in a horizontal plane similarly we are going to connect small gear to the motor on the mast and we will drive a big gear using that so the big gears movement is going to be smooth and to that big gear we are going to attach our assembly which takes the load up and down 
and that again will mean that our movement would be smooth so the last requirement we have taken care by using a combination of small and big gear we have used four c plates two on each side and one rectangular plate to form the base then we have used one l plate for our mast two dc motors to drive two motions we are using combination of small gear and big gear for both mast as well as the assembly which takes the load up down so that the motions are smooth and we are using two single bars to create the assembly which takes the load up and down and of course we need a lots of nuts and bolts so that's our design for crane the last stage of the design methodology which is assemble crane we are going to do that in another video so what we learned from this video we learned the design methodology we learned that there are four stages to the design methodology and we also learned that design methodology is an iterative process we followed the methodology to design a robotic crane i hope you have understood the design methodology and also you have understood how to design the robots using that methodology in our next video we will assemble the robotic crane based on the design which we have created and i would certainly like you to design more robots using this design methodology so let's meet in the next video with robotic crane